Taurus, oh, sorry, <laughs> I just had a vape. How you doing, Taurus? You're on the show. Um, yeah, so uh, you're right, Taurus. I am absolutely dumbfounded. Uh, so I'm hearing Dan, Dan, Danielle, Danny, uh, Jason, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Uh, anyway, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, something to do around a Gemini, maybe, or a Life Path 6, or a Capricorn, uh, or an Amber, <laughs> uh, or Abigail, or Abbott. Okay, Abbott's Ripton, or so I'm hearing Abbott's Ripton, Ripcord, Tom, Tom York, Just, Justice, a Libra placement maybe, and Just, you do it to yourself. Someone's been doing something here. Uh, what have they been doing? Nothing. <laughs> someone's under the microscope of seeing if someone's been up to something or not. Okay, a Steve, but they've been up to something. I'm hearing you've been up to something. Someone might not be believed here, or Bailey, or B, but like, might not be believed. Like, I don't know if I believe you. Are you lying or not? Uh, it could be a Piscean. If I say not, you say Pisces. Anyway, let's move on and let's see, because I'm getting some mixed messages here. It might be mixed messages that you're getting, like, I can't work it out. Are you saying something or not? Like, what, what are you saying? That you do like me or you don't? Like, I, I'm getting mixed messages. So you, it's kind of like trying to figure, figure something out, Taurus. Like, hmm, I don't know. Like, is this person kind of flirting or are they kind of serious or is it like, is it not or is it not? It might be a Piscean. Normally when I say not, I mean Pisces or I left path three. But like, are they or are they not? Is is this like, is there, I don't know, like <laughs> kind of like this very kind of like mm, uh, tempting and but I don't know. Like, am I getting like, is there signs of something there or am I just like, picking up on the wrong signal kind of thing like to sort of <laughs> like this unsure Gary or Tina or from Idaho or Ireland or something like that but like I don't know like am I am I am I not like am I seeing someone am I not like am I interested in them or am I not like uh, like nah, I really don't know <laughs> like that like I, I'm trying to work out whether I have a connection with this person or whether I don't or whether I should speak to them or whether I shouldn't or whether I should, like, whether, Heather, Haley, anybody getting with H. But, like, should I, should I not? Like, could be a Pisces here. Because there's a lot of nots. Should I, should I, should I not? Does he love me? Does he love me not? Would he love me? Would he love me not? Should I, will I, don't know. <laughs> like, a lot of twos. Like, uh, yeah, but, no, but, kind of, well, maybe, sort of, kind of, slow, go, stop, no, go, maybe, <laughs> right, yeah. so, uh, I don't know, let's find out what on earth is going on in your reading here, uh, mixed signals, if it's past energies, I would say not, okay, no, I'm afraid not, do not go back with past energies, okay, everybody, it's time to move on now, okay, if you've been split up, break up, and these twos have been like, Break up, split up, no, go, yes, okay, now we've split up again after two days or three days, and no, yes, no, kind of, ah, I'm confused, there's fucking chaos. That means karmic energy, that means forget it and move on, it does. It, you know, it doesn't mean, okay, let's try and work on it again, <laughs> Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, that doesn't mean, okay, let's just try and work on it again, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't, no, or Julie, Jason, but again, it, it just means... It's chaos. It always has been chaos. It's proven itself to be chaos. Or K, Kaylee, Casey, Cassandra, Cassie. But like it's more of this, if it's chaos and it's been very chaotic, it means don't do it. Okay, it means stop doing that because it's obviously very karmic. You're destroying each other. Especially if you're like yawning around a person. That's also a very big sign. If you're around a person and they go, oh my god, I'm so... I can't believe why I'm so drained and why I'm so tired and I can't stop yawning. That's someone that's sucking the life out of you, okay? So you're draining each other because you are karmically connected as a virus energy, dark and light. They're mixing to the point where there is so much chaos going on in your energy that you can't figure shit out, right? So it could be a virus. Uh, oh, no, Jen, what are we doing? Taurus, Jen, Jen76, sorry. Jen, poor Jen. Everybody, my moderator, Jen has got COVID, bless her. And I didn't realise in the Cancerian reading, I said something about COVID. <laughs> and in this one, now I'm saying something about a virus. So it could be. So everybody give Jen the best wishes. Um, yeah, so virus, I'm picking up like a virus. Could be signs of, um, it could be, like I said, a, a mixture of something, Sagittarius, 
Life Path 5, Sagittarius, Taurus. A mixture of something and a blend of something that doesn't doesn't go very well. Okay, it's a little bit like weird science, really. <laughs> right? <clears throat> uh, it might be someone that's very picky and that's kind of like, well, they've got to have this kind of like look. They've got to ha have this kind of physique. They have to have this kind of like... And they've got to have two arms and two legs, but they must have this, and they must really have that. And uh, and it might be someone that's trying to perfect uh, themselves, or perfect, like is looking for too much of perfection, like you know, every, like everything has to be perfect. And if it isn't, I'm not interested. I mean, it's up to you, but it could be, it has to be absolutely perfect. And if it isn't, then I'm not interested, okay? And it's more of a pass, 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 okay? Could be that kind of energy, but I'm kind of picking up picky, okay? I'm uh, like, because there's a lot of picking and choosing. It might be like a life path seven or a Cancerian, but I'm picking and choosing, okay? Making sure, okay, it could even be like, I need to make sure that, the next person that I choose is the right one. Like, I don't go and make a stupid mistake, okay? And uh, I don't want to be fucked about, and I don't want to be messed about, and the person that I pick has to have good qualities, okay? Good qualities, okay? Uh, and then I'm also picking up on the uh, the, vir <laughs> the virus there, okay? <clears throat> I'm also hearing Iris as well, the name Iris, or something to do with an eye. An eye has one eye, or something like cataracts or like something like allergies in the eye or alley or G <coughs> or GG, right, GG, but like uh, uh, JJ or but someone that has allergies of the eye or something like that. OK, OK, so let's see. Um, Taurus. Last 48, so an illness, an ill nurse, okay? So 5.25 on a Monday morning and I'm lying on my main bed. Outside these walls is a new day dawn. Dawn, Dan, Danielle, Danny Glover, Life Path 7. Um, as the sky turns from black to red, Skylar, Tyler, Tanya, Tatiana. Uh, I can't sleep a wink, am I losing control? I'm doubled up in agony. Um, doubled up in agony, won't you help me unfold, don't need no morning planner. It was about someone that was nursing someone back to health, like a bedside manner. So this could be someone that's ill at the moment, poor Jen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, ill will, or ill, or kill Bill, what's that? Well that's a film, right? Um, but like ill will, someone might be looking for a will, or signing a document of a will and testament. I'm hearing testament. Um, or I'm testing your patience. Oh dear, that's a death card. Don't test the patience of a Scorpio, <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> well, you can. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Uh, Taurus, last 48 hours for Taurus. What has been going on for Taurus? So, working on something esoteric. Oh, also Eric or Erica or Alaka. Uh, anybody getting with A, Abigail, Amber, Erica, Ar Ari, 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 you're right, Ari, Harry, Henry, uh, Patain. Uh, but yeah, what you've got here is avoidance. Somebody can't work, won't work, or shouldn't work, or refuses to work. <laughs> right, I'm refusing to go to work. Now, if you're ill, fine. But if someone's refusing to go to work because they're lazy then someone just refuses to go to work. This is also uh, bludging off the government energy here. This is trying to take what is not mine, okay? And it's also refusing, like blatantly refusing to work on a relationship, blatantly refusing to go to work, okay? Now, if you're ill, fine. <laughs> Jen, <laughs> N-Jen, N-Jen number seven. <laughs> Steven or Stefan or Stephanie, uh, Steph. Um, but yeah, there's this, uh, refusal to work on something like, will you stand still when I'm telling you off? No, <laughs> no. Why should I? <laughs> well, you don't give me a minute. I'm just trying to, oh, oh, there they go. Look, oh, there they go. Walk off. Yeah, go on. Walk off. Walk in your room. Go on. Just, yeah, yeah. Go on then. I fucking will, bruv. 
<laughs> so someone's getting really wound up why they can't control a person where they're kind of like look I just want you for a minute and you just yeah okay no I'm just off and you're like sorry like no I, I like oh that's it they ain't got time in order to talk to me are they they don't never want to talk to me and you're like well there's obviously a fucking reason Tyrone of why people don't want to talk right <laughs> that's what it feels like here I keep avoiding working on anything with you at all so I'm just off bruv um, everyone seems to keep avoiding me and I can't understand why god that sounds like my mother <laughs> she has a Taurus North node Jesus well I can't understand why he won't talk to me I need to tell everybody Everybody. oh no he doesn't talk to oh he doesn't like me oh no no he don't no no he just sits in his room working on his fucking esoteric spiritual karma stuff <laughs> He talks to everybody else, but he won't talk to me. Let me go and spread the word of everybody else and spread the narcissistic disease. <laughs> everybody, this is true. Uh, I had this the other day. What was it? What, was, what did she come at me with? Well, well, what's going to be happening? Because we need to soon start discussing this. I'm like, discussing what? Like, what we got to discuss? Well, everybody knows. I'm like, what do you mean everybody knows? Well, wow, like basically meaning that you're not speaking to me. <laughs> Everybody knows. What, so kind of like what, you've gone ahead and done a Gemini thing, which is tell everybody things, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, it was kind of trying to bait you into this argument when I'm kind of like, I don't give a fuck who you've told. You can tell anybody whatever you like. I don't care what opinion people have about me. I know me. They go, oh, well, yes, it, go on. Everybody knows. Do they know what? <laughs> There's nothing to fucking tell. Steve just sits in his room. Yeah, that's what I'm telling everybody. You don't never come out. It's obviously a problem. No. It might be the reason why I don't come out is because you are the problem. That might be why. <laughs> right? It's true here. This is people that like trying to lock themselves away here and they don't want an involvement in a person because of all the blame, bitching and fucking moaning at them. You're not you're just not cutting the mustard. You work too much okay now you don't work enough okay now you don't work at all okay so what the hell is right then if i'm working too much okay what is the convenient amount of time i should work for you okay like well you don't never want to work on the relationship you don't never want to listen to all the complaints that i've got to make about you where you're working on the relationship they're not working on the relationship then you're speaking then you're not speaking then you're doing this and then you're doing that and then you're not doing this and then you're like jesus christ if this is a woman, I'm sorry, but if this is a woman that does this to a man, for God's sake, give him a break, bruv, please. Please, for the love of God, Steve Vai, please give this person a break, right? Because, yeah, I am a man. I am, yeah, and I am also a victim of this kind of bollocks as well. Steve, you, you work too much. You finish at two in the afternoon. Really? <sighs> That's a problem, is it? Okay, I'll probably got to work till five because I'm self-employed tonight. Well, that's okay. All right. Then the next day, no, that's a problem. What will you do? What? What? <laughs> I don't get it. Why are you avoiding me? Because of all the fucking complaints. Because <laughs> of all the complaints that I'm stable, individual. I told you, don't keep pressuring me to be someone where I'm stable. I am stable. I'm an individual, caring, loving person that works really hard, that cares, that have a fucking hell of a lot of patience. But believe you me, Tyrone, my patience are running out. Okay? I told you not to pressure me. I told you that I might be under pressure of a lot of work or a little. But whichever way it is, Stuart, okay? Stop moaning. Stop complaining. Okay, stop saying that you're not doing this, that you're not doing that, that you should be doing this, that you should not be or be doing. I don't care. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sorry if that sounds very similar to your life, Cynthia, but there you go. What do you want me to do about it? Okay, I am a member of this crew here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yes, with a life path five. And I just cannot equivocably do life path fives. 
<laughs> I am sorry, but in my experience, oh my god, so much sabotage, so much blame, so much hatred, so much projection of, so much fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, you're at work, you're not at work, you work too much, you work too little, you talk too much, you don't talk often, you talk all of the time, you take me out all of the time, everything is fine, but I still have a problem. So whose problem is it? <laughs> Because I told you, don't keep putting me under pressure, okay? You're putting me under too much of it, and now you've got the sting of a Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart, okay? And that is the opposite sign to Taurus, depending on where it's placed. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Anybody, Taurus, anybody can be compatible. You really can, right? It depends on the person. It really does. But it really does depend on every increment of their chart, of whether it's very complementary towards yours. You have to be in a long-standing relationship to find out. And you never do until you are, okay? So you never know. But within my experience, damn, <laughs> you know, rejection and abandonment problems can be projected on you like it's your problem that you're abandoning me, that you're not willing to work on this, that you're not willing to do all of this. It could really be coming from the other person. Whichever way it is, it's chaos. Like I said, man, rejection and abandonment is a person that comes to a person with a problem. Okay, I'm coming to you with shitloads of problems telling you that demanding that you're not speaking, you're not talking, very violent in nature. Okay, very quick, very quick to judge, very quick to snap, very quick to find a problem. If someone picks and finds problems and faults in everything in life, it's going to be a long time coming <laughs> here, okay? Because you'll pick fault at everything, okay? Here. Let's see. One more card for the last 48 of Taurus. Six, Gemini or Capricorn. So someone is very loving, caring, Karen, Karen. Very loving and caring, okay? But someone, why would someone be avoiding someone that is loving and caring? It might be how you both see it, okay? It's probably how you both see this, okay? Someone works really hard and they provide, but it still isn't good enough for someone. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Now, if they don't provide, well, there you go. They don't provide for you. What's the death card been about for Taurus? Harry Potter's wand, you know? Somebody, uh, something to do around sex or... A discussion about sex or private time, some private time. You don't never, we don't never have private time. Well, you know, if you're married, private time should really be between like five, six o'clock at night, okay, and then onwards until the morning, right? Why do you think, why do you think that it is a law, okay, unless you're self employed and you don't get this, but why do you think the law says, if you work for a company, you have holidays. What do you think a holiday is for? To go and get pissed in Ibiza? Start taking loads of pills? No. <laughs> it means that we're having a family holiday because we work throughout the year and there are certain parts during the year that we have holiday. <laughs> that is what a couple more than likely are supposed to do when spending it together. Okay, if you work really hard, okay, that's what a holiday is for. So in between those holidays, you have a lot of sleep to catch up on and you have a lot of work to do. So there are really not that many hours that couples should really be spending with one another unless you are really codependent on that person. So you have to get to know yourself very much so when you're in long standing relationships or marriages, because don't forget all the sleeping time and then all of the working time. There really isn't that much time in between both of those, okay? There really isn't. When you look at true facts of, like, relationship and stuff like that, okay, when people spaz out because of the amount of communication that isn't really happening during those days, it's probably because people are, like, busy, just generally really, you know, busy, <laughs> right? But, man, I have seen some arguments with couples over vocabulary and speaking, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> and time, quality time that is spent. But don't forget, man, the amount of time that is based on sleeping and working and all of those things, there really isn't that much time in between. 
That's why we get holidays. Well, not if you're self-employed, you don't. <laughs> so don't forget how difficult that is. Eight of uh, pentacles. Because you have to do extra work in order to pay for the holiday. And then extra work to suffice for the money that you don't get whilst you're on holiday. Because you come back to no wages. <laughs> right? I'm just saying. But again, someone's loving, passionate, <clears throat> willing to work on a relationship. Sex is there. Passion, love is there. Uh, Seven of Swords. Someone comes shooting straight in. They might be shooting a custard pie straight in your face. I mean, I don't know. But they're definitely going to shoot right up to the sky. Might be reach for the stars. They might be shooting something in your eye. Stars in your eye. Kelly, Keely, you're right. Uh, what is the Six of Pentacles? Four of Cups. Fuck you, dickhead. I really can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered to listen to all of this complaining and bitching and moaning and you shooting in at me like, right, Tyrone, you're not fucking putting up with a must. Sorry, I just farted. It's natural, right, Natalie? But it's natural. <laughs> you didn't hear it anyway, but I'm still telling you because I am I have this problem with oversharing. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, here, this is kind of like, like, listen, I need to just, will you just hold still a minute? No, 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 that's it. No, 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 don't listen to me then. And you're like, bruv, you're a, you're a child. <laughs> you're a child. You act like a child. Why do you do things like that? And you're a grown ass 80 year old woman. No, 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 no. I'm not listening to you. Okay. That's a fucking good job then. Crazy person. <laughs> Sorry, man, but I've had that as well. That is bizarre. <laughs> but again, like, listen, I need to, I just want you to No, no. I said, no, you pressured me too much. Life path four, Scorpio Aries, life path four, Scorpio Aries. Clash of the Titans. <laughs> Maybe. Now, it doesn't look too bad because there could be prosperous energy here within the last 48. I ain't just doing any more. Right? You don't have to go to the website for your weekly reading there. Um, but let's see. Next 48 for Taurus. is it, It's coming straight in, bruv. And they're on the bridle. Bridey. Oh, dear, man. They're definitely on the bridle. What is this? <laughs> the King of Swords... The mental manipulator could be anybody, man. Could be a woman or a man. This, like, you, you can't... <laughs> if you are dealing with a narcissistic person, right? I'm just saying, if you are, you couldn't get any more narcissistic than the King of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry. But the King of Swords is the King of Air, right? It means very intelligently manipulative, okay? Because it goes through the page, the sword, the, the knights, the pages, the knights... It goes through all of the sword energy and then eventually it gets to the king and you get a king in reverse. <laughs> right? So that's up to you here. But that could be a parent, like a very, 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 very strict parent. <laughs> like, I mean, a very strict one. Okay. Let's see. Strict. Um, next 48 hours for Taurus. Oh, Capricorn energy here as well. Oh, dear, man. Some of you have got a very controlled environment of some sort here. Uh, the devil with the king of swords in reverse. That's a very toxic childhood. Very toxic marriage. Like, fuck knows. Avoidance. Avoidance of here. Uh, Taurus, the next 48 the star i mean like i said man the king could be upright it's not for everybody you know you got a very loving stable person that would be in the upright okay that would make it so much better uh what's the knight of swords but it can also be fear of rejection and also abandonment issues person that doesn't like to be told no doesn't like to be abandoned in life what's the king of swords uh, sorry the knight of swords is the moon a mother a mother. What's the or a Virgo? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Virgo? What's the King of Swords in reverse? Is waiting. Oh, is seriously not talking to someone that's controlling here. They've closed down physically, mentally, and emotionally. And one of these people is just playing the well. Like I said, we went through this on the teaching tier. I said a narcissist. <laughs> I said, I said. 
A narcissist will teach you to close down physically, mentally and emotionally and block them out and not speak to them at all ever again because of the amount of physical and mental abuse. That's what they'll teach you to do. Okay, But one of the traits that a narcissist has is also known as the quiet game. And being very quiet okay, and punishing the person and putting them in time out. And I'm going to put you in time out and I'm not speaking to you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, a narcissist can also do that, but they're teaching you to do that, okay, which is close down physically and mentally and emotionally and keep them out of all parts of information that may be going on in your life. And I mean, keep them out of the whole lot, okay? Don't express anything to them. Don't tell them anything about your life. Don't tell them what you're doing, where you're going, who you're seeing, because they'll just use that information that they've got to work something out that will manipulate you, okay? So you've got to be very careful. You've got to keep them out of all, all pieces of information that you have. You have to keep them out of that, out of that. If that's a father or mother, you can't go telling them about your love lives and stuff like that and business ideas and stuff that you've got like that. Y'all can't do that. No. Sorry, that was in reverse. You've got like business ideas of like, you know, with a, a parent and they ask you what you're doing like for money and stuff like that. You know, don't fucking... Don't go and give money here, here. This can also be, yeah, this can also be a catfishing energy here of someone that's after someone's money here. What's the devil for? The devil is a two of swords trying to make a decision about a Leo or an Aquarian. What's the star here for? Is a new two of cups and a Cancerian life path seven. Some of you, something didn't work out here with a Leo or an Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra placements. Doesn't matter. Something there didn't work out. It didn't work out. That's why these, this two is here. There isn't a decision. That person's probably just still in the energy somewhere or stealing the energy here. But again, they're not even speaking. They're not talking. That could be a third energy or someone that tried to do something with a Leo or an Aquarian, but that didn't work out here. So that's a past energy. That's present here, but it's past energy. There's a new energy here. It could be someone that is a an Aquarian, possible Leo placement, okay, and maybe a Life Path 7 or a Cancerian energy looking for a Two of Cups here. So it could even be yourselves that are looking for a new two of cups but look for uh, an aquarian placement leo placement probably aquarian placement because i think the leo placement there didn't work out but someone that has aquarian or cancerian or life path seven or life path eight life path two energies that's better matched energy there okay tell me about the chariot yeah I, <laughs> that was at the bottom uh Aries, well, this is multifaceted. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Life Path 4, Scorpio. Sagittarius slash yourselves, Taurus. Uh, Aries, Leo, uh, Leo, Aquarian here. So, yeah, someone that's very optimistic about the future. Someone that's very loving, very caring, very light, vibrant, bubbly. Would do anything about the future. Like, would do anything to have a good future. Okay, so if you're thinking that there's a person that you could have a very good future here with, this person would be very optimistic for the chance to be with someone here. Okay, optimistic about it, because they're looking for a Two of Cups. So you've got to find someone that's optimistic about Two of Cups energies, looking to hook up. Don't look for people where it's not working. Look for people where they're kind of like, well, I would definitely be with you, Two of Cups here. Okay, so that's kind of what you've got there. Okay, so last 48, next 48. Your actual reading, Taurus, is over on uh, on the new website there. Okay, so if you wish to join, this will go to the silver, silver tier and also the gold tier. It isn't patron. They don't kick you off towards the end of the month. When you pay a month, you get a month. Okay, so I say tiers, but it's really my website. But it goes up in bronze, silver, gold and then teaching but the gold holds everything teaching weeklies and monthlies so if you want your reading you it will come out the day before it was out last night 
okay you'll need either the silver tier or the gold tier or you can buy it individually and separately on its own if you wish it's up to you or you can join as a subscription base and then you get everything uh, for the whole month okay that's what I've get, got. Please make sure that you also follow the vlog. I just need to also let everybody know. I'm sorry, but I was, I am going to do something on the vlog. But me and Emily are no longer together, so it's just it is what it is. I don't want any bad or hard feelings really said about each other. It just, it just, it just it, a cause of chaos. It just didn't work, and it it really won't. Okay, it really won't. It's been tried for three years. Okay, there was breakups every two or three days. It was just impossible to keep doing that because it was a a cause of chaos. It really really was and everybody's like mothers and fathers are having really bad opinions also and friends about me and uh, I'm just not putting up with that anymore and I wasn't going to so I can't be dealing with a breakup split up not doing things right so it was over okay so I'm just letting everybody know okay there you go so thanks very much guys all links are provided below if you like shorts make sure that you subscribe to behind the life of tarot because that's where all of the shorts are going to be. What does your partner think about you? What does your ex-partner think and feel about you? What does spirit want you to know? If you want those, follow the vlog. It's called Behind the Life of Tarot. Okay? To build up the channel, we're going to be doing a load of shorts. Okay, thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you soon.